Hey folks, welcome back to another preview. I'm here with Sean Brown from Mystery Games, and we're taking a look at his micro racing game, Vintage Racers. Now, what's unique about this game, Sean? Uh, this is kind of like one of those culminations for me of, uh, I don't know, maybe the last 10 years of me playing racing games. Okay. Things that I really liked, like Formula Day, uh -huh. Detroit, Cleveland, um, Speed Circuit, Thunder Alley right. comes to add, yeah. you know, these, uh, these giant awesome racing simulations and I always thought to myself wouldn't it be cool if I could capture that feel and excitement in a racing game but like in a fraction of that time. Right so it's like down to the wire the last lap right and that's what this game captures that end moment of those bigger racing games. Absolutely. And it's something portable micro size yes. that you can take with you to lunch yeah. <laughs> and play over lunch with friends and uh, the cars are vintage cars, right? What, what was the deal behind doing vintage instead of NASCAR or something? You know, it was funny. I, we were at a convention. Yes, and we were. We were playing a race game and we were <laughs> going, wouldn't it be cool? And I was telling you, uh, Mark, about this game that I've had for years and years. And it's gone through street racing themes and right. motorcycle themes and all these different things. And I thought... Wouldn't it be cool to take it to those early days of racing, like when they had nothing and they had to beg, borrow, and steal for their parts and their wheels were practically falling off and they were just, you know, like what you think of in a right. black and white race. And this would be turn of the century, 1905, 1906, 1907 awesome. kind of racing. And so the, the, the theme just dripped for me. Yeah. It just came together. And as we started to research on some of the cars and things like that, it just started learning all these really cool things like uh, that I incorporated in the game. So like the mm -hmm. tail section of the car. Yeah has a starting speed. It does. And what I found out historically is they wouldn't start their cars. The whole gentleman start your engines yeah. came. They would roll them. They would push them up oh, and they right. would start them just before it started yeah, because yeah. they didn't have enough fuel. They couldn't afford <laughs> fuel. So That's awesome. um, sometimes I didn't know that. Well sometimes the cars would just take off really fast. Yeah. And other times they would stall. So I represent that in a start speed. Oh that's cool. Right? So gotcha. so that was kind of cool. And then the other thing is with the tires. Yeah. I knew I wanted to have uh, you know, speed limits in corners. It's really popular amongst most of those mm -hmm. race games. And I wanted to have a way to pay for it through the tires. And as I was doing research on that, the they used to ride two per okay. car in these things. A lot of the pictures you see oh, one right. guy. Yeah, yeah. But the second guy was always hanging low was why you didn't see him because they were pouring water on the tires to keep them from shredding and falling what? apart. I had no idea that was a thing either. Right? Oh my gosh. And, and of course, by about, I think it was 1907, 1908, they got organized yeah they got okay. professional and they went away with all that but in those early days it was anything they could do to go fast to keep the tires on i love this and so for me i was like that's how i want to do it yeah so there's a card draft where you uh you beg borrow and steal to get all these different pieces and that's why the cars always work differently each time so like uh mark and i off camera we basically did a quick yep. draft and like my car has better acceleration mm -hmm. because it's got some pieces in the nose that help it and then it's got a really fast speed, yep. but it makes up for a, a slow top speed here. Ah, uh, yes. And, you know, Mark over here has a, a slow tail section. Yep. Um, but he's got uh, added braking up front. A lot so, of braking, actually. So he's got all this uh, mobility so he can, you know, hammer it real fast in the corners and then jam pull, on the pull brakes. Pull it down. And, and pull it down. And so... Um, for me, I just kind of fell in love with this theme. Yeah, so, I love the theme as well. So, all right, so let's jump to the table and yeah. play a race or a one lap race. Yeah, really, we'll it boils down to doing one lapper, right? Absolutely. And so this is for two to four players, right? Yep, two to four, or you could, uh, if you have two decks, you can play up to eight. That's you can awesome. double them up. And, um, you know, one of the things I want to do via like stretch goals would be double side the cards mm. so that I can make three lane tracks on Ooh, the back and yeah. two lanes on the other. So then you can mix and match. Mix and you can match. make uh, bottlenecks. You can make wider tracks, longer tracks, but yeah. it'll be um, even some of the historical tracks we can Ooh, come up with. That would like be that. awesome, right? Yeah. Historical tracks. Cool. All right, let's jump to the table. All right, so let's dive into this race. All right, so uh, we're set up here. We got the two cars up and this is based on our tail end speed. So I have a okay. 50 to your 30. 30. Um, so I get the inside track in the first oh, spot, you get the second spot. Look at you. On the very first turn, we're going to set our speed to that because that's going to be okay. that jump start we talked about, right? All right. Where uh, we're just firing those cars up and trying 30. to get off the line. So you're going 30 on the first turn, I'm yep. going 50. Okay. Um, why that's important is on turn two, we're going to do a secret uh, adjustment. Okay. And we can adjust one of two ways. So this lever mm -hmm. is actually your throttle because okay. these cars actually didn't have a gas pedal. Right. They had a throttle, That's like awesome. an actual cable, which is where throttle comes from. So uh, mine says 20, uh, yours over here says 30. So you can only increase your speed by what your throttle is oh, every turn. Right, that makes sense. The exception to the rule is these 
cubes that you have in front of you. Mm -hmm. These are your driver's skill or special ability. Oh, you can use this like at any being time. In the zone. Exactly. <laughs> and you can use this at any time to cash it in to break the rules to increase something by 10 or decrease it by 10. Basically anything you could think of in the okay. game that you need in that split second moment, you can use your you skill, skill to, to, to do really it. That's really cool. Until um, you run out of skill. Until you run out of skill. Because uh, <laughs> you're the other so thing tired. Is the braking. Yes. So this brake, you know, you slam it on the brake pedal, that's, you can adjust your speed down by that much. Okay. Same thing applies with the cube. The cube's there too. Oh, I need to go down by 40. Spend a cube, you can gotcha. do Gotcha. Right. Um, and then the last thing would be, uh, the thing that looks like a speedometer, that's mm -hmm. your top speed. Can't okay. go any faster than what that says. So okay. 80 miles an hour is your maximum. Um, you'll notice on my car, I've got a bonus 20 miles an hour. Yes, so my top do. speed's now 100. Right. Um, but I have a bonus braking, right? You've got more braking, so you can brake up to 40 miles an hour. Nice. Uh, and you can always push your top speed, and you've got a really fast acceleration. So nice. this will be interesting to see how these cars... Yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. ...how these mash up. So... Um, the other thing that we have is we have some spots on our cars yes. for, uh, for tires. For tire wear. Right? And so uh, this is uh, my car. Obviously, I, I don't have a very good guy pouring water on him to keep him cool because I've only got two spots on right. my tires. And I've got um, more. And you've got all the spots. So this is the makeup. Is that yeah. In theory, every time uh, you exceed the speed limit in here, for every 10 miles an hour you exceed, you have to take a tire damage. Unless you use... A skill. If you run out of tires, right, and you you take the thing, then you can use a skill. Then you can use a skill. Right. Okay, gotcha. Um, so you want to use your tires first. first. Once you're out of tires, then you can do All that. Right. So I can only exceed the speed limit twice, Ooh. but I've got skill, and so I'm hoping I've, I've got, got a, one, two, a three. Look at this. Yeah. So this is going to be an interesting race. So other than that, um, let's go. So the um, we'll be using the advanced rules. Yes. Um, and one Can't of the cool wait. things in the advanced rules here is that. After the first turn, when mm -hmm. we set speeds, right. it doesn't matter where you are on the track, the fastest speed is going to go first. Okay. And what this does is sometimes somebody's about ready to go into a corner mm -hmm. and somebody that's three or four squares behind goes faster and he can slingshot and jump in that corner oh. before. Gives for some uh, some interesting. interesting human developments. All right. Um, so on the first turn here, I'm going five, so uh, or 50. So okay. one space for every 10 miles an hour. All right. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. All right. And I'm going 30. And one, two, and I can go into the inside track now. Right? You can, yeah. You can move diagonal. And I'm going to go right behind you. Except for that's four. Right? Oh, is so that four? One, two, three. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the cuts on the card also indicate yeah, like a okay, cut gotcha. on the space. Yeah, okay, gotcha. All right. So that's our turn one. So then for turn two, we do a we just do a secret adjustment. All right. Uh, I'm going to jump up here. And then when All we're right. ready to go, we just do a reveal. So I'm going mm. 70. 60. Okay, so um, I could go first because I'm going yep. fastest. If we were tied, yeah. then we would go to who's farthest along who's the farthest track. Along. If we yep. were still tied, meaning we were lane to lane, inside track. So it's so, a three-stage tiebreaker. Because you're going 70, though, you're going to take some wear? So the first space that you enter, yeah. you take damage. Okay. Um, but... We also have the braking ability. So we have dynamic braking. So okay. if I would like, I can adjust my speed at All the right. very beginning of my turn. So ah, I, see. I opt to go really fast go to try to keep the, the, the lead, right? right? And then right. I tap then on my brakes a little bit. Just give it oh, a little love very tap nice. And go 60. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Same here. Three, four, five. This is six here. Yep. Okay. And All so right. knowing that little trick, right, you might want to push to 70 or 80 yeah. mm -hmm. and then tap on the brake a little bit so you don't take the damage, right? And that's right. the advantage your car has with all those extra yeah, brakes. definitely. So, uh, you can always push your speed and then just er, lock them up real quick. So um, let's see. Coming into this corner. Okay. I'm all about 80. I'm about 80 as well. <laughs> so given the tiebreaker, I've got you beat. Yes, you do. But I'm going to tap on the brakes for 20 and go 60. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So now if I go through there at 80, I'm going to take two wear. You are going to take two wear. So you can take them as tire damage or you can spend cubes. Yeah, I'm going to take them as wear and go through at 80. Five, six, seven. And then we're neck like this. Is that how that works? Uh, so you were here. Yep. So, um, or you were here. One, uh, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, if nice. you wanted to, yeah. And you went through a fifty, so you're gonna have to take, take three tires. Three tires, because oh. yeah, you're thirty over. All right, but you it was a good way to jump. It's only one out. lap, right? It's, it's only one, one lap, and so you, you got just as many tires as I do, that's and right. the lead. So. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, so now this is uh, we got we got a pretty big corner coming up here. Okay. 
All right, so time to set speeds again. And I am all set. Okay, I'm going 70. Me too. All right, so you're ahead yeah. and inside track, so you gotta go first. Why don't you move me? And you wanna go outside or inside? One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And you need to spend one. I'll do um, one cube. I'll you spend a skill. skill this time. Okay. Kind of balance it out a little bit. I'm gonna tap on my brake to six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stay just outside of that. Corner. Nice. Okay. Giving you a commanding lead though. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this. I like it. <laughs> I'm all about it. All right, so we got another uh, another acceleration round here. All right. So this uh, this gets dicey here because uh, if I were going faster than you, yes, right, I have to move before you, you move and before. that might force me down into might. the lane I don't want to be. <laughs> exactly. So this is why braking is is super, super important. important. Yeah. So uh, I'm really curious to see what you're going. I'm going uh, 70 miles an hour. What are you? Uh, what are I you was going there? 70 as well. Whew. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't trip you up, but well, it keeps it very, me it very well decisively could've. in the lead. Though. If you would have dropped down to 60, I'd be taking two damage to oh, go the inside man. track. So. That would have been awesome, actually. <laughs> oh, well. You would have moved me then, uh, seven? So you're going to go seven outside. outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. And you're taking one I'm tire. Do one more. Are you going to use the... And then oh, you're gonna save you're just balance, okay. balancing it out a little bit. And I'm going to go, uh, I think I'm going to commit to the full seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, you know what? I'm going to go six tap on my brake. Nice. Very well done. Save them tires. And All precious right. tires. Bumped the track in the process. All right, we got a new uh, speed here. Do. Okay. I'm all set. Yep. 70. 70. All yep. Right. All right. You're on. And I'll tap yeah. on the brake when I hit the 60. Okay. So you're going to go 60 instead, yep. keeping the lead. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want inside yep. track, uh, probably? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And I am also going to, um, well, am I going to tap one? Two? No, I'm not. I'm going to stay full seven. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Pay it, pay it right now pay or it. pay it next turn. That's so true. I'm going to pay it now using one of my two precious tires. All right. Uh -oh. All right, he's at 80. 90. Oh! So here's, uh, here's right. the slingshot, right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna jump out to that outside lane oh, for now. Oh, nice. All right. Well, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I will have to spend four. Or tap on the brake, right? Yep. Well, you're on eight, so if you yeah. tap on the brake, you got to move back for each spin one. Spin four. Now we're coming down to the last two. I think I'm going to spin four, and just keep that lead and in going it's, into the end. It's a massive lead. Yep. All right, and it's first across the finish line. If okay. we both go across the finish line at the same time, yeah. then it's farthest across the finish. Oh, line at okay. The end of the turn. Nice. And if that puts you in a corner, you must pay this penalty, oh. or you crash. Oh, you so, crash. All right, cool. All right, all right. Uh -oh. What am I gonna do here? Yeah, what are you gonna do? All right, so I'm gonna do this and hope you make the wrong decision. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the things we like in here is like if you're playing with, uh, if you want to keep it loose and fast, we have a thing with uh, the pole position, the leader. Yeah. Where um, you know he can do this, and when he's ready, he can go. Okay, speeds are ready. Three, two, one. one. Like go, because. Because the idea of this right. is quick decisions. Right. We don't want you always calculating on the math. What, what's That's my right. best what's move? What's my best move? Because it wants to be a, it needs to be that quick race. We right? want to be playing quick reactionary. Yep. Exactly. Well, so. I'm going 70. I'm going 80. All right. So I'm going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to tap on the brake. Okay. And that put me 10 over because I was 70 through a 60. I'm going to use my your last tire. All right. Well, let's see. If I'm going 70. And now I can't go to this. Well, can I go to the outside track from here? Um, yeah, so we've got just a little off alignment there. So if I do one, two, three, four, uh, I see. So you go to the outside. You can back up to three. Yep. Me in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that, right? Yep. yep. Okay, cool. All right, so neither of us passed this turn. That's so right. So it's more likely we're going to pass this turn. Yep. And we got a set of speed here. Hmm. Oh boy. All right. I got I got mine. 
Such a decision. All right, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm in. Going 80. 70. All right, so 80 gets the first go. It does. So I'm going to go um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. And that's going to be you at? two over here and one over here for a total of three. I'll spend three of my skill cubes. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh! <laughs> Wedge me out by a point. By look at a that. point. Like, look at one that. space. One space. Down to the wire. Photo finish. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, again, so that was what, 10 minutes? Yeah, if that, right? If that, With right? rules and everything. With the rules and, then, and everything. So, of course, we have um, advanced rules where you can um, have a draft for the cars where you put out all the parts and then yeah. you actually bid with your skills. Nice. And then you can... Trying to kind of customize it a little bit. I have to say, bit. it's it's pretty satisfying to, to beat the designer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't win a lot. Unfortunately, I've lost to Daniel Zeiss like two or three times. I've lost to you a couple of times. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, maybe I didn't design this very well. I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, well, but you know, I, what I like is usually when people play it once, they go, that was fun. Let's play it again. Oh, yeah. And they like the single lap or they go, let's play two laps. That's right. And you know, what then we do in two laps up what you do. is, yeah. Uh, yeah, when you make the first lap, you get your skill back. Right. Um, that makes or sense. Or you can do that or your tires back. I like but, that a lot, actually. You know, and, the skill yeah, back. Yeah. I like that the, every time, every lap, you get your inherent ability. But yep. um, so then it makes the tires even a little more, um, a little more special. And, well, you know, one of the things I'm toying around with too is possibly um, double siding the cars where yeah. it can give you better tires, better like tires. two lap race tires and single lap race tires and stuff like that. So lots of cool ideas. Um, ultimately, I want to do wood cars and wood cubes and things like that. But right now, they're all tokens. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know. Um, See how it goes. The, how the campaign goes. Exactly. The ability of. Uh, that's why I love Kickstarter so much is, uh, yeah. you know, I can have this idea and, hey, if we raise just a little bit of money, then we can still make a fun game. But if we raise a lot, we can buy a bunch of extra components and make yeah, it pretty cool. So that's awesome. Cool. All right, folks. So that's Vintage Racers. And you know what I found super interesting is that I barely pulled it out in the end, <laughs> even though I maximized every possible aspect of my car to do it. I still can't believe it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and beating the designer, I, I, I just think that's pretty awesome. Oh, it was down the wire. I mean, it look was. at this. Look at this. I had you on inside track. You did. Somehow you managed to just pull, pull a little bit out. more out of there. At the yeah. Because little, little I was in that 70 and oh. I didn't have to pay anything coming nope. out of that corner. And, and I had spent everything I had all the way up to that last oh, corner. I thought you were a goner. I, had, I still had a cube you to still, spare. Right? Just, you still. Couldn't you push it. You couldn't push it. Uh, Couldn't pay the penalty twice. That would have been a problem, lot of right? penalty exactly. for you to pay to be on that inside. It sure would have. Yeah. So this has been a really fun, super accessible, light enough, but captures that experience of that final lap in those large scale racing games. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, I still love playing those things to this day, but like, yeah. uh, you know, they, if everybody has a really similar skill level, you know, the first couple laps, you're all bunched up and pretty good anyway, and it right. always comes down to that last yeah. bit. And so for me, just to be able to capture that in a, in a way you go. Uh, and of course, you can play two laps or three laps in this thing. It's just going to take, you know, maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes instead right. of 15 you totally or that. 9 or 10 and or whatever it took. I could see it lending itself to opening up for lots of expansion. Like you said earlier, you could do vintage tracks. You yes. might even be able to do some crazy tracks too, right? They're yeah, just absolutely. bizarre and Mario Kart-esque type right. crazy tracks, right? You could always do, That yeah. could be really fun. And then... You could also be expanding the cars and maybe down the road do like drivers with special abilities and things, right? right? Jump into the 20s and yeah. 30s and things like that, of course, absolutely. That's so. really cool. I love the fact, again, that it's portable. You stick in your pocket. I mean, literally all of this fits in the box, yeah. right? It's crazy. It's pretty awesome. And that's a great way to go. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. And I know that... Um, we, we played a prototype of this at the last B-Con. We did, yeah. Are you hoping to have this available at the next B-Con? Yeah, you know, my hope is to get it out. I just think it'd be kind of cool, you know, a year later to, to bring it to fruition there. So that's I kind agree. of my target. Um, you know, I obviously want to get through the Kickstarter on it and, and right. try to upgrade the components as best we can and, and do any, uh, all the little things we can. But uh, right. I think it's very doable and I think I would love to have it there. Um, you know, obviously for personal reasons, I, I love playing the race games. And so, you know, for us, we get to go and hang out for four days right? at this hotel <laughs> and just play games. And I know that I'll be drug in between a bunch of games and I know I can probably get five races in over the weekend in oh between my all my sessions. And Easily. So, I mean, <laughs> worst case scenario, I'll have at least prototypes or production copies, right. but... I mean, gosh, even if I could airlift a couple cases to the show, I'd probably we'll do, do it do just it, so we right? could just have, have it, have it. Show, Absolutely. Right? So. Well, cool. We'll definitely take a look out for this on Kickstarter. 
And Sean, thanks for being here in the studio today. I appreciate yeah, and showing us this game. Here. And folks, ultimately, if this looks like a game of interest to you, I'm sure Sean would appreciate your support. So I think that's it from us. <laughs> and until next time, we'll see you at the table. Later, folks.